All right guys, after you are done shading, you are going to remove all the negative space or background space behind your hands. So you could do this either with a pair of scissors and you can just cut along, or if you have an X-Acto blade, you can cut it out with an X-Acto blade. Just make sure you have some sort of mat behind it so you're not cutting directly on a table. I'm probably gonna use a combination of both my scissors and my X-Acto blade. All right, everyone, now that your three-hand contour is all cut out, the negative space has been removed, you are going to get your watercolor that we worked on last class, and you are going to glue your three-hand contour on top of your watercolor background. I know there'll be some extra around the paper, that's okay. You can use any type of glue you have at home. Um, you should also have a glue stick in your bag. I'm gonna use a little bit of rubber cement, but I'd go around the borders, a little bit in the middle, and then you're going to stick it down on top of your watercolor background. that I line up the edge of my drawing with the edge of the watercolor where the tape was and then I gently press down but truly I don't want to rub the top because I don't want to smear any of my pencils so I'm gonna flip my painting over and I'm gonna rub the back so if you have any little things floating up just make sure you get a little bit of glue don't crease where it's coming up just Curl it back a little bit, stick some on the back, or even just directly onto your watercolor paper is fine. Remember not to rub the front because you don't want to smear anything. And then you're going to photograph your work, cropping it, making sure we're going straight to the edge of our drawing, and then upload it to your Google Slides. All right guys, I look forward to seeing your work.